saints and to my absent pastor, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank God for another time that we can come into his house to give him praise and to worship him and give him the glory for taking us through another week, for taking us through another Christmas, for blessing us. Even in the things that we haven't seen or known, he has protected us. He keeps us. He shields us. Because no weapon formed against us could prosper. Because he loves us so much. So much. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We Amen. praise him. He is Lord Jesus. He is our everything. Hallelujah. Father God, I just thank you right now for this service thus far. Father God, I thank you for being with us in this place. I thank you, Lord, for your anointing, Father. I ask that you would remove me right now. Let your Holy Spirit speak through me and have your way. Give us your word today, Lord. Let it touch us. Let it encourage us. Let us, lead, let us allow us to leave here better than we came in this morning. Father God, you said where two or more are gathered together, you are in the midst. And so, Father God, even though the number is low today, Father, we know that you are with us because we are gathered together in your name. And we thank you for your presence in this house. Father God, I ask that you would just bind everything that's not like you, every hindering spirit, and that you and your word would come forth, Lord, with all power today and bring all glory and honor to you in Jesus' name. We give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for another week. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I just want to greet our brother today and welcome you again Thank for being you. with us today. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you will enjoy the service even though there's not many of us and that you would come back and visit again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the Lord gave me, was speaking to me this week and saying that, you know, he has blessed us with so much. He has blessed us with so many gifts. Because the Holy Spirit lives in us, Amen. He has blessed us with the fruits of that Spirit. Yes. And because we have the fruits of His Spirit, we have so much power in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. He has given us a heart like His. Amen? Amen? He has allowed us to feel. Praise God. He has given us the five senses. We can touch. We can feel, smell. We can hear. Amen? Amen. And now that the Holy Spirit is in us, living in us, those senses have just been magnified more. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Things that we couldn't see before, we can see now through Jesus. Amen. Amen. Things we couldn't hear before, we hear now, even without trying to listen. He brings it to our attention. And He doesn't do that for any reason, but He does it because He knows that we are His children. And because we are His children, we have power so that we can go to him boldly before the throne and pray on behalf of those who are hurting, Amen. those who are walking in darkness, those who are sick, those who need help. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today our, the word is coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 7. We praise you, Lord. My message is short today, but I just have to be obedient to the word Amen. and to the Lord. And he's, this is the word that he gave us for this day. This is the last Sunday of 2014. Amen. Amen. And I am so blessed to be through another year. Amen. Amen. It went fast. We've seen another Christmas. Praise God. And we celebrated his birth. But there's a new year coming. Amen. And with that new year... He has some things that he wants for us to do. Praise God. So turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 7. And I'm going to start by reading from verse 7. It says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks, receives. And he that seeks, findeth. And to him that knocks, it shall be open. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. That word came to me so strong this week. It says, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. 
and to him that knocketh it shall be open. We praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I love this word. And, be, and from the time that I've read this word, I, I just, it just encouraged me to ask for whatever is in my heart, knowing that we serve a God and our Father who loves us so much will give us our heart's desires. He said he will supply all our needs. Amen. But not only that, he will give us our heart desires. Amen. Amen. And, and Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we just thank God for, for being so good to us. Amen. He has blessed us. He has opened so many doors for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And he wants to continue to do that. Praise God. As long as the thing that we're asking for is pleasing to him and brings honor and glory to him, he will open the door for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Lord is saying to us, don't give up. Don't stop asking. Amen. Don't stop seeking. Don't stop knocking. Amen. Amen. Because... Sometimes the answer doesn't come right away. Praise God. Sometimes it takes a week, a month, years. Amen. But if we give up, then we're showing that we're not believing that he would do it. That we don't trust him. Amen. Hallelujah. So many people, so many saints say that they love the Lord. We all love the Lord. Amen. But we are lacking in trusting him. Praise God. This book, this uh, chapter 7 of Matthew, the whole chapter is telling us what we need to do to ask, to seek, and to knock, and to receive. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. It says in verse 6, it says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Amen? Why would you give something holy unto dogs? Amen? And not to call any names on any people, but why would you give something that is precious to you to someone who does not deserve it or appreciate it? Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. So he says to be very careful with the things that he has blessed us with. Amen? Amen. The fruits of our spirit, amen, are the things that he has blessed us with. It's holy. So we don't want to just give it away to someone who would abuse it. And because of their abuse, cause you, cause a hindrance in your life, amen? And cause you to want to get despondent and give up. Praise God. He says, be careful with those things that I have given you, those gifts that no one else has but you. Amen. No one has it just like yours. Praise Amen. God. And no one can take it away from you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because no man gave us these gifts. These gifts are from God alone. Amen. They're the fruits of the Spirit. He's blessed us with love and peace and joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to name a few. And if you allow anyone to take that from you, then you're not doing the word, of, the will of God. Because he says, do not give which is holy unto dogs. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The thing that we have to be focused on is the thing that God has put in our heart. Praise God. We have a vision. And we must have a vision. Because God has given us a hope. Amen. Amen. Because we don't look at the things like the world looks at things anymore. But we see things through God's word. Through his eyes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he said that all things are possible with me. Amen. And there's nothing impossible with me. So he can do all things. Amen. Amen. And we can do all things through him who strengthens us. Praise God. So we live our life looking to him every day. And we ought to be. Because he has come into our life. He has given us his Holy Spirit. And he has changed us. He has renewed and restored us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He is so good. He says, ask and it shall be given. So what is it that you want? Amen. It may be the same thing that you asked for last year. And you still are waiting. Praise God. But the thing is, is don't stop asking. 
Don't stop thanking him Amen. for the thing that you have asked for Amen. and are believing for. Amen. Don't stop looking and seeking for where that thing is. Amen. Amen. And don't stop knocking on every door and every place you can to see if that thing that you have asked him for is there. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because it will be there one day. It may be today. Amen. Amen. It may be whenever. But it will be there because God promised. But the thing that stops us from asking, from thanking Him, from seeking and knocking is because after a few days or weeks or months and years, we have stopped because we felt, oh, God didn't want me to have this. And that's why He hasn't given it to me. Amen? Or because of whatever reason. And so we stop asking. We stop looking. We would even forgotten what we had asked him for. Amen? But he did not forget. Amen. Praise God. It's not enough just to love him. We have to trust him. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Sometimes we may ask for something that it just doesn't line up with the will for, for us. His will for us. But yet he wants us to have it. Praise God. So he's going to give it to us. But he's not only going to give us what we ask. He's going to give us even better. Amen. Hallelujah. And before he gives it to us so many times, he wants to show us how to ha handle it. How to receive it. And how to give him the glory with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he's not just wants to take the time to bless us from his love and give us something that he sees we are not ready for and that we would just throw away after he gives it to us. Amen? Hallelujah. Ask. He says, ask. There's so many things. This, this chapter is so powerful because when you look at it and in your own time and read it and meditate on it, it will show you that there's so many things that stops us from receiving the thing that God wants us to have. Amen? Hallelujah. He says he, we cannot please Him without faith. So we have to trust Him. We have to know that we ask for it and we've asked Him and He will give it to us no matter how long it takes. Amen. So many things come to steal that from us. From our daily walk, things come. People come into our path to discourage us and to make us think that we will never receive the thing that we've been waiting for and praying for and believing for, amen, and looking for. And so we give up. But God is saying, don't give up. Amen. He is taking us into, he's taking us into a new year, amen. And more than ever, we, he needs us to stay focused on him and the thing that we have asked him for. Praise God. So many things happen in our life that we don't understand why. But He will give us understanding. He will give us wisdom. Praise God. Because He loves us so much. Amen. It's really not about us. It's about Him. Amen. Amen. And it's about serving others. But God loves us so much, He still will give us the desires of our heart. Praise Amen. God. What God is saying to me is it's time for us to focus on his goodness. Focus on his word. Praise God. Focus on the gifts that he has blessed us with. Focus on the thing that we have asked him for no matter how long ago. And no, come bring it back. Bring it back to our remembrance. He will bring it back to our heart so that we can start thanking him for it again. Don't give up just because of how it looks. Don't give up just because of the way things are going and it seems like you'll never get there. Don't look at your own will or, 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 or your finances or whatever it is that says, oh, this won't happen. Because he can make a way out of no way. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He doesn't need anything. All of a sudden, it'll just come. And before it comes, we need to thank him for it and give him the praise. And when it gets here, we have to continue to thank him for it and praise him. And as we go through with it, we have to continuously praise him. Amen. Because Amen. he loves us so much that he will bless us and give us the desires of our heart. He didn't come, he didn't bring us here to leave us. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. He didn't allow us to come to know him and called us into his presence so that we could be left alone. 
Even though so many days we feel alone, so many days we're hurting, amen? So many days we don't understand why things happen the way they are. But he has never forgotten our cries and our prayers, amen? amen. And the thing that we had asked him for. And he will give it to us if we just wait and trust him, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says in verse 1, judge not that ye be not judged. Amen. I'm just going to stop right there. We don't have time to look at that person or this person and wonder why this person is being blessed and have these so many things. And I'm still waiting, Lord. I'm still waiting. He says, don't judge. Amen. So that you won't be judged. Praise God. We don't have time to judge others and to look at others because we're looking to God. The only person we should be looking at to receive the thing that we ask them for. Amen. Hallelujah. So many people are, are being put off because they're stopping their own blessing. We have to do His will. That's the only way. There is no compromise. God said, here is my word. Do my will and I will bless you. Amen. So many times we want to help people. He says on verse 4, How wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Amen. We have to look at ourselves Amen. and say, Lord, what is it that I'm not doing right? Amen. What is it that you want from me so that I can please you, so that I can bring glory and honor to you? What, it is, what is it that you still are waiting for me to do? Amen. So that I can receive the thing that I have asked you for. Praise God. Hallelujah. We don't have time if you want to help someone or talk about someone. Oh, let me help you when we need help. Praise God. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't help others. But remember that we also need help. And we also have to look at ourselves and see if we're lining up with the will of God. Amen. Amen. It says in verse 9, and I'm just jumping all around. What, or what man is there of you whom if his son asks for bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Amen? So many kids ask for this and that for Christmas, and they have been blessed to receive those things. They probably didn't deserve it. But they, their parents loved them so much that they struggled and did whatever they had to do just to see their child happy on Christmas Day. Amen. Amen. How much more would our Father in Heaven want to see us happy? Amen. And see us blessed and see us rejoice and, sh and show that He loves us so much. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are blessed. So we, He's saying, don't give up. The thing that we have asked for, the thing that we have prayed for, continue to look for it. Amen? Continue to knock and continue to knock until you see it. Amen? Praise the Lord. But the thing about it also is that not only should we be looking for the things that we ask for, but we should be looking for the things that God wants us to have. For the things that God wants us to do. Amen? The things and the people or whatever the situation that God wants us to be there for, to be a blessing, to shine, and so that His glory would be in that situation. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So when we are asking, not only asking for what we want, but asking the Father, what do you want from me? Amen? Hallelujah. Where do you want me to go? Where should I be going? Show me the direction you want me to go in so that I can seek the things that you have for me. Show me which doors to knock on, so that I can be a blessing, so that I can tell someone about your goodness, so that I can tell someone how much you love us, and that you don't have to live this way anymore. Amen? So that someone would see that light shining through us that comes from Him alone. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So we have to remember that it's not just about what we want, but it's about what He wants. And if we give him what he asks, he will definitely give us what we ask for. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Today, like I said, my word is short. But thank God for the fruits of the Spirit. 
Thank God for the feeling, for the five senses he has blessed us with. You know, it's about so many times we have emotions and feelings and sometimes people get depressed and they get sad. Amen? But God didn't give us our emotions so that we could be depressed. He gave us our emotions so that we could feel. Amen? He gave us our senses so that we can feel and be sympathetic to others. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm reminded of the time when they called Jesus because, because Lazarus had died. Amen? Amen? And they called him and when he came there, he, was, he felt their sadness. He felt their hurt and he cried with them. Amen? We don't really know exactly why he cried, but he cried with them. Amen? Hallelujah. He felt what they were feeling. Praise God. When the woman with the issue of blood seized him and found him and touched the hem of his garment, when amongst all so many people and the crowd of people around him, he felt her touch. Amen? Amen. He felt her infirmity, her pain, her sickness. He felt it all. And immediately he turned and she was healed. Amen? He felt it. And that's why He has blessed us and given us the fruits of His Spirit and given us the, the magnif like magnified senses. Amen. Amen? So that we can feel around us. So that we can see past the natural. Amen? And see the things that we need to pray for and where we need to go and what we need to do and when this person is in front of us, what to say to them. Amen? Hallelujah. And we could never know that unless we're looking to Him for direction. Praise God. Amen. It says in verse 13, Enter ye into the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, that leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Amen? He says, enter into the straight gate, that narrow gate. So many people are walking in that wide path. Praise God. The world is full with so many people doing their own things, going by their own understanding, and just living the way they want. But God says, stay on that narrow path. Even though it may not be many of us. Amen. Stay on that narrow path. Because it's that narrow path that's going to take us to where he is. Praise God. It's that narrow path that's going to guide us and lead us into away from everything that's coming to be, to, to destroy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to stay on that narrow road. Amen. Amen. So many times the enemy wants me to look at this person and that person and this thing and I might at, at first want to get sad because I feel like I've worked so hard and I've done this and, and still I'm waiting but God says don't look at those those people and don't step out of that narrow path stay on that narrow path because the blessing is coming the thing that we have asked them for is coming the thing that we're seeking is coming the thing that we're knocking for is coming amen hallelujah so I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm encouraging you today to never give up praise God let's not give up as we enter into 2015 things are going to get more crazy amen because the enemy knows that his time is short. Yes. Praise God. And he's not trying to, he's not looking at those who are already in darkness. He's looking at us who's walking in the light. The ones who Jesus is coming back for. Amen. He's looking at us and wants to throw us off our path. Praise God. And wants us to give up and stop asking and stop thanking him for the things we're still waiting for. He says, call those things that be not as though they were. Amen. We have the power to speak those things. So every day we are to thank him for the thing that we have asked him for. And know that he has already given it to us. Even though we don't see it and touch it in our, in our spirit, we know that it's, it's ours. Praise God. Amen. Because he will give it to us. Because he loves us so much. Amen. Praise God. So today I'm encouraging all of us. Even though there's only a few of us here today, 
even though when we go through our daily walk, we may seem to be alone because everybody is doing their own worldly thing and walking in evil and sinning and doing whatever they want. Amen. But we are still walking, holding up the banner for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Walking in his will, doing it his way, walking by his word. Amen. And because of that, we are more blessed than we can ever imagine. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. So my word is short, but I just want to thank God for you being here today. It's no mistake that we are here. And we can't look at things our natural eyes and allow that to determine how we feel. We have to look at God, who is our, our everything. Amen? He has taken us out of so many things. He did not bring us this far to leave us. Amen. He's going to continue to take us through if we just continue to look at him and to thank him and to trust him and know that he will do what he said, that he will bless us and give us the thing that we ask for. Amen. Amen. So let us rejoice. He has given us another day. Let us rejoice and say, thank you, Lord, for that thing that I asked you for. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. Amen. I know it might not be today, but I'm thanking you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I know it's coming. Because you have been so, too good. Praise God. Hallelujah. My word is done. But let us be encouraged. Amen. As we go through another week and as we enter into a new year, knowing that God is with us. He has a plan for us. And he will give us the desires of our heart. Praise God. Amen. Let us stand as we close up.